everybody. Welcome back to the show. It is time for us to talk about what's trending out there, and it's a big, big birthday oh, today. Who doesn't love a birthday, and especially when someone becomes a teenager, including our good friend, Google. You know, Google turns 13 today, and it was making me reminisce about the other search engines that used to exist, like Hotbot. Oh, remember Hotbot? Yeah. Remember Ask Yeeves? Because it was like asking the butler that's yeah. on the internet that will magically <laughs> bring you the answer. See? <laughs> like service. What were some of the other good ones? Oh, there were some just... Yeah, there were, everybody's tried, right? Nobody's yeah. nailed it like Google did. Well, so. Google took over, turning 13 today, and it made me ask everybody on Twitter uh, the question, because everybody, whether they admit it or not, ego surfs. You put in your name, and you see what happens, and sometimes it's funny, and sometimes it's, it's not. It's not just ego surfing now, though. It's important that people actually check, and you see what's out there. and, and Make sure sort of... that you're not pulling a Nancy Grace. Exactly. You right. don't want all those crazy pictures so out I there, asked, like I asked uh, some of our Twitter followers, a couple of the funny ones, when asked if they, if they Google themselves, uh, somebody said, I'm a tugboat in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Wendy. I don't know what kind <laughs> of tugboats are called, Wendy. And um, somebody called Send In Duck Clown said that I'm a famous wrestler that was known for carrying a two by four around and causing mayhem. Surprisingly accurate. <laughs> I didn't Google <laughs> like to check to see if that really was a wrestler, but that that's so, all kinds so of. So what awesome. happens when you Google yourself? So in we honor, did a little test this morning. In honor of Google's 13th birthday, I do not like to uh, Google myself. That sounds Don't worry, wrong. I Google you enough. <laughs> Anyway, one of the weird one of the weird things um, I wish I could say there's just one that comes up is uh, something called ladies in vests or waistcoats. Wait, this is what comes up when you Google yourself. It's one of the things that comes up, and I thought to myself, what the heck is this? And I see, okay, they, I think that's a star of uh, NCIS or one of the crime shows, Kim Kardashian. There's pictures of her wearing a vest. And then I'm scrolling down <laughs> no. going, what kind of website is this? And then <laughs> a few years ago, I had this vest that I really Ladies liked. Ladies in waistcoats or vests. There's me with Terry David Mulligan and Colleen Christie. I'm wearing the vest I wore, I don't know, three or four times Boy, on television. And a... there I am with Dan Aykroyd wearing the vest I wore three or four times. Wow. And there I, are, I am with that guy. I can't remember who that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> who is that guy? I don't know. If you Google, though, you might find out. Um, anyway, I literally wore that vest on television three or four times. The guy who has this blog, ladiesinvests.blogspot.com, um, <laughs> has had this blog since May 2008, and coincidentally this week has decided, and if you go to the homepage, it says, after three years, I've decided to stop blogging about ladies in, uh, in vests and spend my time concentrating on other endeavors. <laughs> it's a good time to do that, buddy. Somehow this was not paying off for him. I don't know how. Okay. Uh, that is very, very funny. That's far, I'm disturbed. far better than mine. So when I Google myself, I'm going to save a little bit of time. Uh, I already put Michael in there, uh, but I always found this uh, moderately amusing. So as we start to finish it off, you can see... Famous uh, Michaels. Yeah, yeah, as you go along. I, you don't get anything for Michael Eckford until you finally put in the F. And then look at the third <laughs> one down. Michael Eckford height. Aww. That's the first thing... That, Michael Eckford, Michael Eckford, Urban Rush, Michael Eckford height. Oh, they care more about that than they do about your Twitter. I can tell you right now, 6'3", question answered. There you have it. You've got Minus six inches, and then you're fine. <laughs> oh, no, more than that. <laughs> oh, five if you're 6'3", what does that make me? Uh, In all honesty, you've got to stop lying to people. They think I'm too well, look, I'm compared to Billy Campbell. Billy Campbell's height is six foot three point two five inches. <laughs> That's probably a picture of you and Billy Campbell. Yeah, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't look as tall. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's not even me. Wait, maybe but there's we a know picture. Billy. Of... That's what's really funny. Wow. That they... does look a bit like me if I had a beard and I was wearing a carling hoodie. Internet. You make me feel weird. Anyway, speaking of feeling weird, we're going to take a quick break. And when we return, he is called the tester. Our own Patrick Maliha is here, and we are afraid.